The crowd gathered outside Governor Jerry Brown's office this morning, thanking him for signing a law that will be used to curb racial profiling. It gives us one of the most encompassing and far-reaching definitions of discriminatory profiling in the nation by accounting not only for race, but also other identity characteristics and other marginalized communities. In addition to demographic information, for any type of stop, frisk, or search, law enforcement officers will be required to notate the reason for the stop and whether it resulted in a citation or arrest or if the person was let go. Bakersfield Police Sergeant Joe Grubbs says the department will comply with the new law but believes racial profiling is not a big issue in his department. Police officers by and large don't profile racially. We pro criminally profile. But many people on the other side of the badge, including Joey Williams, feel differently. I grew up in East Bakersfield and have gotten pulled over quite a bit, you know, stopped and asked questions. And, uh, you know, I, I, I believe that doesn't happen as much on the other side of the 99. Williams is the director of Faith in Action Kern County. He traveled to Sacramento last month with other members of his organization to push for the passage of this bill. I'm very excited because this small victory is going to open the door for many more victories as we have. As People need uh, people in the, the most pain and, and suffering in our neighborhoods right here will have some relief. But Sergeant Grubbs believes the new regulations may inadvertently allow for more crimes to go unaddressed. If an officer avoids making a stop for fear, it may appear as racial profiling. Instead of contacting that person that just committed that robbery, they say, oh, can't contact that person that committed that robbery because I've already contacted three of that ethnicity of person today. Assuming it's not racial profiling, Williams believes the law shouldn't have any negative effect on officers' conduct. They already collect the data. They admit that they collect the data. It's just not made public. So it's just something they're already doing. They're just going to have to make it public at the end of the year. Sergeant Grubb says that's not necessarily true. The new requirements will require a much more intensive reporting process, even for small interactions. And it is going to be a huge drain on resources.